Welcome back. I don't know about you, but when I think donuts, I think Amy's donuts. I mean, not only are they delicious, but the variety is incredible and it's always changing. Here to show us how to make some fall themed donuts are two of the very talented decorators, Rosa Benitez and Tina Marie Pisa. Ladies, thanks so much for coming back. Thank, Thank you for you. having us back. It's such a pleasure. You guys always bring a nice spread. So let's yeah. talk about Amy's donuts and what it is that you guys really do there. Um, well, pretty much what we have, like I said last time, it's just a collective inspiration of over 128 flavors of donuts. And it's everything that we could possibly think of off of our head. We just go for it. Right. I mean, your creativity is off the charts. And how would you say that you guys come up with all these different flavors? Well, we sit around, well, we don't sit around, but we bounce ideas <laughs> off of each other going, I wonder if this will work with this. Kind of play a game there called Will It Donut, you know? <laughs> I love that. And then I have um, chef training prior from New York City, so mm -hmm. I bring a lot of that into it as well. And then Chin and Amy, of course, just mm -hmm putting together everything they can think of. I mean, yeah, you guys have the expertise. You have, again, the creativity. So, Rosa, you brought along, we brought along some materials today. Yes. What are we going to be making today? Today we're going to be making creme brulee and the scarecrow donut. And that's our Thanksgiving donut. Excellent. And, and scarecrow. And to note about the creme brulee, too, it's actual creme brulee on top. Is it hard to do that on a donut? Um, not really. Well, no, you just have to have the right material. Right, right. So st start walking us through the steps. Okay. What do you do to get that? So first, you just get the Bavarian cream, mm -hmm. and then you just spread it around. You know, not a lot, just yeah. a little bit. A little and then taste. you just dunk it in the sugar. Okay. Cinnamon sugar has to have more sugar than cinnamon, Got or else it'll burn. Okay, so then you use your torch. You have to be very careful with this <laughs> one. <'cause laughs> Live torch in the studio, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Protective eye gear, not necessary. Right. There we go. And then you just... Look at that. Ooh. But yeah, it's made like a very traditional creme brulee. Yeah, you're going to have that hard crust on top, the crunchiness, the sweetness when you bite into it. I don't think yep. I've ever had a creme brulee donut. And that's really what you guys do. Yes. Is you bring these flavors that nobody will ever think will be on a donut, and you make it possible for them to have it pretty much any time they want to. Yeah. So that's nice and crispy <laughs> on top. Yeah. And then, of course, you can't have a creme brulee without having the fruit. Exactly. So we put two blueberries, okay. and then we put one raspberry, and then that's our creme brulee. Beautiful. It's, it's gorgeous, and it's, it'll get a little bit crispy. It'll get a little harder, and yes. here we're going to do actually uh, a different fall theme. Yep. We're going to do the scarecrow okay. right now. So what you're going to do is just take some icing. Nice. Just stir it up. Sometimes it gets like a little bit of like a skin on the top. Sure, when it sits around a little bit. Yeah. So just going to do this and, and just so spread it around. That's going to be the base for the face. Yep. Excellent. And that's all you have to do is just a little bit. Okay. So I usually start off by taking a piece of candy corn. Right. And I set it a little bit lower, mm -hmm. like off center, but like that would be for the nose. Okay. I'll then I'll go in and if anything, watch me do it first yeah. and then try to do it after. So I'll start making the eyes with chocolate frosting. Wow. So I do like this. Mm -hmm. There it is. So Rosa, what's your favorite part would you say about being a decorator? My favorite part is while I'm decorating, sometimes like our maple turtle is the pecans. I like to pick the pecans and <laughs> eat them. I'll be like three for the donut, five for me. <laughs> it's very fun. I think anybody that works at a food place, you know, you kind of yes. sneak a little bit every now Always, and then. Always, yes. Why not? Why not? Wow, that's already looking. I mean, you can see the years of experience at work here. Yeah. She's already making the face. It looks like a scarecrow. Yep. And then this part, it's just drizzling chocolate like okay. along the top because yeah. it's going to settle and it's going to be the hat. Got it. Yeah. So while you're doing that, I'm going to create the buckle and the hair. Okay. So I'll make the hat kind of upside down here. <laughs> Sometimes it's even easier to start the face first just so you know how much space you're working with. Got it. Okay. Mine's going to be kind of a Picasso looking <laughs> scarecrow. It's going to be kind of funny. All right. It looks like it has a toupee. Yep, and as that's long good. as you have fun with it, that's really all that matters that's with us. Exactly, and what I love too that you guys were telling me about is you guys have sometimes kids field trips where the kiddos come in. Yes. Yep, they come in and um, they get two donuts and they get to decorate. We give them sprinkles, the chocolate, vanilla frosting, and yeah. they just go wild with they their donuts. They just go for it. I yes. mean, that's got to be so funny. I mean, it's a great way to give back to the community. Yes. And definitely. just so people know, give us give us your location again so that they know where to go. Our location is 101 East Fort Lowell Road. Okay. It's um, where the Lukes used to be. The Lukes, yeah. right, the Lukes. And then people, can they pre-order donuts or can, should they walk in and just buy them? How does, that, how does that all work? You can walk in and we will have <laughs> most of our donuts out okay. and 
if you know you have to uh, go to a meeting and you just want it, pick it up and let's go. You yeah. go to amysdonuts.com and we have all of our donuts there in the menu and you just pre-order there and then you tell us when you want to pick it up and it'll be ready for you. Beautiful. And there we were just seeing on screen some of the different fall types of donuts that you guys have because you're always changing. I mean, how often do you guys think you, you change the donuts that you have? Every couple of weeks. Every couple of weeks. Definitely. Like even like with these designs, I started coming up with these, I think the day after we were here last time. Wow. So for like a month, I'm just trial and error. Is this going to work? You know, is this going to be able to be put out on time and things like that? So. So does Amy ever? I mean, is she pretty open to ideas, or does she, does she sort of want to make sure that you guys stay on tra on track? Well, I mean, yes and no. For the most part, they give us a lot of leeway mm -hmm. to really express our creativity through these. So it's so much appreciated yeah. that they leave it to us for a lot. But then there's a lot of you know, things that they came up with too, they're classics that you just can't mess right. with. I mean, you guys are, are artists of the donut, I would say. So let's show our creations right now, our final creations <laughs> okay. to the camera, of course. See, even mine's not exactly <laughs> perfect, so don't worry. No, yours don't worry. looks perfect. Mine kind of looks, I don't even know what that looks like. It's like <laughs> yeah, a sad it. emoji is what it looks like. Uh, it, looks great. it doesn't have that little <laughs> buckle that yours has on the head, but again, you guys have such creativity, such delicious donuts. I mean, that's the point. They taste good, they make people feel good, and you guys do so much in the community. So, of course, I want to thank you again for joining us. People really have to go out, and uh, nice to see you again. Thank, thank you. you. Nice so to much. see you again, nice also. To you of course. Now, guys, you have to try the donuts that were voted the best in town. That's Amy's Donuts. They're located at 101 East Fort Lowell Road, and for more information, call 647 2481 or visit amysdonuts.com.